Hey y'all, Nova here. Today I'll be covering the best settings for Lord of the Rings Return to Moria. I've had pretty much all day to play this game and have been having a ton of fun, so I've gone through most of the controls and made them better. So starting off with our general controls, I didn't do anything here except I changed my look sensitivity and aim sensitivity all down to 0.5 from 1. And also for hold to sprint, this comes checked. I actually unchecked it so I don't have to hold down the sprint key to sprint. It's just a toggle now. Actually very nice. Uh, so make sure you uncheck that. For key mapping, I this is mostly personal preference, so do whatever you want, but I changed dodge from uh, control to left shift because it's easier to reach. Crouch is on Z, I might change it to like C or something though. Sprint I changed to caps lock because it's easier to reach as well. And everything else is pretty much the same. Some important things you should know if you're starting out though is um, call out is on Q, you can ping stuff for your teammates. You can actually throw items, I'm not quite sure what it's used for, but R throws stuff. Then we have some nice hotkeys, crafting, map. Uh, Another important thing, like X is for placing waypoint on map, but also when building, X uh, allows you to destroy stuff that you built that maybe you don't like where you put it. Now we have, uh, all of these are fine, not very important. Uh, to move stuff quickly into a chest, you can use left shift and then click, sort of like a Targaba but with a different hotkey. Then for building, again, deconstructing is X, it took us a while to find that, so good to know. And then Z is a quick de deconstruct, and all your ro rotate stuff like that, you can build rope as well. Then inventory, nothing too crazy there, and that's the end of our key mapping controller. Not important unless you're using the controller. Gameplay, uh, I don't think I, you can lock the minimap to north if you want. So for our video, I actually turned the brightness up all the way. Um, I found it relatively hard to see in dark places. You could like keep it like maybe 2.6 if you want the game to look like. I mean, maybe it looks a little bit better if you don't have the brightness all the way up. It's sort of up to you. Maybe I'll keep it 2.8. See what that looks like. Yeah, it doesn't look too washed out like that. Have it on Windows full full screen. If you want the most amount of performance, you can change it to full screen. Unfortunately, the frame rate seems to be capped at 60. There may be a way to uncap this in like the .ini file, but I don't know how to do that yet. So I'll keep y'all updated. I'll do a, a like a link or a pinned comment if I figure out a way. You can turn VSync off actually, and then you know, depending what you're honestly, mine's running mostly okay on Epic. You could turn it down to high, medium, or low depending on. Uh, what you want you don't obviously don't have many options so you can't like change shadows or foliage and stuff so it's sort of up to you how many frames you're doing and then again if you're having issues with frames you could turn dlss on uh you know and if you want ultra performance there's all these options here and then same for amd depending on what graphics card you have uh, nvidia for dlss and dlss and amd for fsr next audio i didn't really uh, do anything here other than I made it so it's not you in the background and then but yeah other than that I think that's all fine and then none of this really matters so yeah I guess you could turn off telemetry I, I'd assume that's like sending them stuff and whatever but anyways that is the settings I hope y'all enjoyed I've been having a ton of fun with this game expect way more content from me in the future I'll be having a be I'll be making a beginner's guide later this week um, I should be streaming most mornings from like 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. And other than that, I hope you'll have a wonderful day. Have fun delving into the dungeons. And I don't know how dwarves say goodbye, but good luck. And I hope you'll have a wonderful day. This game is gorgeous.